Hi everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about four easy ways to help prevent and reduce your risk of blood clots early on after knee replacement surgery. Everyone, so today we're talking about preventing blood clots. So early on after knee replacement surgery in that acute phase, so the same day after surgery and the day or two after surgery while you're in the hospital potentially, there is an increased risk for blood clots, um, similar to any other type of surgery that you might have. And the reason for this is after surgery, you are experiencing this period where you are relatively immobile. You're not moving around as much. Um, you're not, you're maybe in bed for prolonged periods of time. And what can happen is the blood that's circulating through your legs can start to pool and not be moving and not returning back to your heart as efficiently and as much. And that blood starts to pool and it can start to coagulate and move together and that can cause a blood clot. So for example, we call it a DVT, stands for a deep vein thrombosis. So that's a blood clot that forms in your leg, in your calf. And this can potentially break off and become a pulmonary embolism or a PE. So basically the clot breaks out from where it is in your leg and travels up into your lungs. And this can be a very serious um, condition and something that needs to be um, treated as a med medical emergency and requires extensive care. Um, but the good thing is there's a lot of things that we can do to help very significantly reduce your risk of having blood clot or having any deep vein thrombosis after knee replacement surgery. So the first thing is going to be medications. So after surgery, you're going to be taking um, some form of medication that is going to help decrease the likelihood and decrease the potential for your blood to clot. So things like you hear like blood thinners, um, basically that's what we're talking about is this medication that is prevents your blood from clotting. It makes your blood not have those factors as much, um, makes the time it takes for the blood to clot much longer so it's less potential for that to happen. So you might hear things such as heparin is very common, um, a little higher intensity and then usually you'll start to wean off of the heparin and go on to Coumadin which is something same idea same concept but a little less intensive of a medicine than something that you usually can take um, as a prescription once you are discharged from the hospital. So the first line of defense is anticoagulant medication. The next thing is going to be compression. So for example, you're going to have what's called intermittent compression a lot of times. So that's these um, devices that are wrapped around your leg and Velcroed together. And they're going to on and off, so intermittently, compress the lower leg muscles and then relax compress and relax and this is going to try to stimulate that blood flow keep that blood from pooling in your legs um, stimulate the return of that blood in your veins back toward your heart and then after your acute phase after you the same day after surgery um, you'll possibly have also some sort of compression stocking so um, for example, TED hose are very common or other types of compression stockings that your doctor, your surgeon will um, prescribe for you to wear. And this is the same purpose is it compresses that area, um, helps to squeeze some of that blood and keep your circulation running smoothly and well so you don't have that risk of the blood pooling and coagulating to form a clot. So second line of defense is compression. The next line of defense is exercises that are going to start to contract and squeeze those muscles of your leg. And that's going to, again, help with that blood flow. And so that's going to be things such as ankle pumps. So pumping your ankles up and down your foot. You're going to possibly probably have um, 
quad sets, so exercises where you're squeezing the muscles of your thigh and relaxing, doing isometric contractions. You might have glute sets, squeezing your butt muscles. You also probably will have be given heel slides, so sliding your heel up and down on the bed, um, trying to bend the knee early on as well. And these are all exercises, among other things, that are trying to contract those muscles that are going to help with the blood flow, help avoid the pooling of blood, and reduce risk of a blood clot. And then the fourth line of defense is going to be um, early mobility. So getting up out of bed, um, sitting up in a chair, doing a little bit of walking with your physical therapist or the nursing staff, and just getting your body moving, getting your muscles contract contracting, and helping with the blood flow through your legs and through your body. So those are the four lines of defense to help prevent blood clots. So you have the medication, you have compression, um, you might also have some elevation, so elevating the leg up in the air. Um, icing is could be considered a line of defense to help with blood clots. Um, we'll throw that in there as well. Um, so um, the medication, compression, early exercises, and early mobility, getting up and standing and walking a little bit the same day after same day as surgery and especially the day after surgery as well. So that's the best ways to help prevent the blood clot or a deep vein thrombosis from forming in your leg early on after knee replacement surgery. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you enjoy our content, please feel free to subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. So you can catch all of our videos. If you really like this content, leave a like, a message, feedback. We'd love that as well. Have a great day and take care.